China's treatment of Uyghurs may be crime against humanity, say UN Human Rights Chief. The outgoing UN Human Rights Commissioner Michelle Bachelet has said that China has committed serious human rights violation against Uyghurs Muslim in Jinxiang Province, which may amount to crimes against humanity. Bachelet's standing report has published with only 11 minutes to go before her term came to an end at midnight Geneva time. Publication was delayed by the 11th hour deliver of an official Chinese response that contained names and pictures of individuals that had to be blacked out by the UN Commissioner's Office for privacy and safety reasons. The Chinese government, which attempted until the last moment to stop the publication of the reports, rejected as an anti-China smear, while Uyghur Human Rights Group hailed it as a turning point in the international response to the program of mass incarceration. The 45-page report by the Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights concluded the extent of arbitrary and discriminatory detentions of members of Uyghurs and other predominantly Muslim groups pursuant to law and policy in context of restriction and deprivation, more generally of fundamental rights enjoyed individuals and collectively, may constitute international crimes, in particular crimes against humanity. The Chinese government, which attempted until the last moment to stop the publication of the report, said in an official response that it was based on the disinformation and lies fabricated by anti-China forces and that is wantonly smear and slander China and interfere in the country's internal affair. The Chinese response was accompanied by a 121-page counter-report, emphasizing the threat of terrorism and the stability that the state program of de-radicalization and vocational education and training centers has brought to Jinxiang. Human rights organization welcomed the report, Amr Kanat, the executive director of the Uyghur Human Rights Project pressure groups, said it was a game changer for international response to the Uyghur crisis. Despite the Chinese government's strenuous denial, the UN has now officially recognized that horrific crimes are occurring, Kanat said. Over the past five years, China swept an estimated million Uyghurs and other minority groups into internment camps which it terms training centers. Some of the centuries have since been closed, but there are still thought to be hundreds of thousands still incarcerated. In several hundred cases, family had no idea about the fate of relative who has been detained. Out of 26 former inmates interviewed by UN investigator, two-third reports have been subjected to treatment that would amount to torture and or other forms of ill treatment. The abuse described include beating with electric baton while being trapped in a tiger chair to which intimates are trapped by their hand and feet, extended solidarity, confinement, as well as what appear to be a form of waterboarding, being subjected to interrogation with water being poured in their face. The U.S. and some other countries have set the mass incarceration of Uyghurs and other Muslim in Jinshan, the destruction of mosques and communities and forced abortion and sterilization amount to genocide. The U.N. report does not mention genocide, but it say allegations of torture, including forced medical procedures, as well as sexual violence, were all credible. It said that the authority had deemed violation of the three trial official limits on the family size to be an indicator of extremism leading to internment. The reports call on the Chinese government to take prompt step to release all individuals arbitrary deprived of their liberty in Jinshan and urgently clarify the whereabouts of individuals whose family have been seeking information about their loved ones. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.